All right, you guys, it's Fit Fishing, baby. We're gonna show you how to jig with mouse tails. Okay, you guys, we're gonna do some jigging out here too. We got a jig head on the mouse tail. Uh, this is our crappy pole right here. Some two pound mono on there. Nice little mouse tail with the jig head. It's about an eight foot pole. Pretty nice. So we're gonna get some jigging going down here. See if we can't grab something one time for your mind, Lake Gregory fishing. Not too crowded out here today. One, one time for your mind. And we're back, and we're back. What's up you guys, our Belt of Fit Realtor. We out here having a good time. We got baits in the water, it's pretty dope. Here we trying to see what we can do. Yup, yeah. So we gonna work it out. And we're back, Arvell to Fit Realtor, Bear, Kimani, we're back. It's Fit Fishing, baby, and we out here. Lake Gregory today, we're gonna show you how to use power bait. We're gonna show you where to fish at Lake Gregory, South Beach, and we out here. See you at the water. Fit fishing, baby. Advocating manhood, fatherhood, positive coping strategies. We out here at Lake Gregory getting ready to do some trout fishing. Our first trout adventure for the um, 23 season, 23 24 season. So um, we got some garlic power bait, corn power bait. We actually going to throw out a catfish and a carp pole as well. Um, Bear has his masa mixed with the corn, and we have some shrimp and mackerel to see if we can find a straggler cat. But we out here for the trout today, and we just want y'all to know that. It's fit fishing, baby. And we fit fishing the Inland Empire, Lake Gregory on a Friday morning. Okay, Bear, um, let them know your setup here. All right, we got a Carolina rig with a quarter ounce setup right here. Show them. Okay, so he got his quarter ounce slide egg sinker, and then uh, you're gonna take some of that power bait off, but you'll have a pinch of power bait on there, and uh, he's gonna get that right out there. So we got a basic Carolina rig. All right, Bear, go ahead and pinch some of that off, and then we'll do first cast. Okay, Bear's gonna get that first first cast out and you see he got our manhood fatherhood positive coping strategy shirt on we want to show our young men how to be men that's a good one so we want to show our young men how to be men teach them what fathers should look like and teach them positive coping strategies like fishing fitness and journaling. We out here. Okay, you guys, we're gonna do some jigging out here too. We got a jig head on the mouse tail. Uh, this is our crappy pole right here. Some two pound mono on there. Nice little mouse tail with the jig head. It's about an eight foot pole pretty nice so we're gonna get some jigging going down here see if we can't grab something one time for your mind Lake Gregory fishing it's not too crowded out here today we got a couple people over there this is the South Beach got a father son right there by the tree the North Shore is pretty oh no we got a few people on the North Shore we got a boater right there so it's all good. People taking advantage of this Friday. Veterans Day observed Friday. Good times. There you go. Set that one right here. Ooh. 
Okay, you guys, we're gonna do a little bit of jigging. We got the mouse tail with the jig head, two pound mono. Let's hit it. Fit fishing, baby, and we out here. They stocked Lake Gregory October 27th with uh, 2,000 pounds of rainbow trout from Jess Ranch. Our neighbor over here, young kid, he just caught one, so we know they're in here. Good times. We ready to go get them. Power baiting it and jigging it. All right, you guys are able to fit realtor and we fit fish in the inland empire lake gregory today um, as you know we doing trout today we got the mouse tail we got the power bait but they also stock cats in here during the summer i want to see if there's some um, some catfish left over so we got the uh, three-way swivel with the diamond pyramid uh sinker and then we got that snail hook going through that shrimp i'm gonna get that out there deep see if we can get a leftover cat out here Try not to hit this dude in the boat. Okay, you guys, Bear's rigging up his, uh, his carp set up. Show him how you got it rigged, Bear. All right, so I got a little knot right here. Let me see. I got a little knot right here, and then I just put it on here, closed it up, and then I got my Asian car folks right here on it. And then what he's gonna do is he's gonna pack this uh, masa mix into that uh, into the the cage. You see the little golden cage. He's gonna pack that masa mix in there and then at the bottom, he's gonna put some corn. Always a good time. We out here. 
So we got a trout pole over there. We got trout right here, trout right here. That's my jigging pole right there. And then we see if we can get us a cat on this one. Good times. All right, you guys, it's Fit Fishing, baby. We're gonna show you how to jig with mouse tails. First, you wanna get you a jig head, and then you're gonna slide that mouse tail on there. We got two pound mono on here so that it'll cast far. And then you just get the, get the cast out, and I'll show you how to retrieve. Cast, you wanna reel a few times and then bounce it here so that it's moving in the water. Real, clip the tip a little. And that makes the mouse tail look like it's actually swimming. And if you have the two pound mono on, it'll cast further than a four pound. There you have it. Good times. It's Fit Fishing, baby, and we out here. Fit Fishing Lake Gregory. And uh, Bear, he, see, he sees the trout swimming around. He has a secret power today. He got these Polaroid glasses um, for his birthday. And... Um, he can see in the water and he looks cool. Tell him what you saw, Bear. I saw the trout, so we were over there. I was looking in the water, I just saw it swimming. And then, so I called I called Dad, he came and then it just turned around. So we had to follow it all the way this way and then it went into the shadows of the tree. So I had to look for it on the other side of the tree over here and then I found it again, but then. Good time, so we out here trying to find this trout. We trying to get it with the lure. We got the mouse tail on the jig head. And it's always a good time. Pew. All right, you guys, Bear, you netted the fish for the for the boy down there. How was that, Bear? It was really cool. It looked like a big fish. I couldn't let him lose that. Right on. What was he using? He's using um some gold garlic power bait. Oh, okay, cool. We got that too, so we see if we can pull ours in now. Yep. Good times. All right, you guys, we've been jigging the um, mouse tail, no cigar. So I'm gonna try these uh, these worms. Forgot what they called. Uh, trout worms, power bait worms, power worms. That's what they call power worms. But I'm gonna put the green one on. I got pink and green and brown. I'm going to try the, the green one and see if that works a little better. I know the pink one you can see really well in the water. I don't know. Maybe that's why the fish aren't hitting it. Whatever. I'm going to try the, the green, see if we can get something there. Good times. All right, you guys. So I switched out the mouse tail for the power worm. Got that on the jig head there. We're going to get that back out. See if that produces good times. Fit fishing, baby. Mental fitness, physical fitness. Advocating manhood, fatherhood, positive coping strategies. Get you a fishing pole, find you a lake, and get to fishing. <sighs> All right, they say you gotta be smarter than the fish. And apparently we are not, but it's still a good time. And it's always fit fishing, baby. Manhood, fatherhood, positive coping strategies. 
We fit fishing Lake Gregory today. Yeah, the fish giving us a hard time, but we having a good time. As always, a uh, 2023 coming to an end. Let me know in the comments how you guys are doing as far as your goals and dreams for 2023. What you got planned for 2024? Mental fitness, physical fitness. We out here. All right, how you enjoying Lake Gregory today? It's good. It's very quiet out here. Nice place to be in the mountains today. Yeah. All right, good times. And it's a nice scenery. Yeah, the scenery is dope. Speaking of scenery, we're on the South Beach. So um, what you're seeing here is the North Shore. And that includes the boat dock over there. The boathouse. All those nice homes on the hill. Lake Gregory. Always a good time. Almost 11.30, the wind, the breeze, and kicked up a little bit. I had to put my sweater on. We out here, Lake Gregory, California. Enjoying the scenery, but waiting on the trout to bite. The kid down the way from us, he already on his third. And he looked like he's skunking everybody here at the lake because I haven't seen anybody else catch anything but him. So he's the pro today, but we still out here having a good time. It's fit fishing, baby. Fit fishing Lake Gregory, I had to throw the sweater on. It's almost noon. By the way, go Spartans, S-J-S-U, Spartans. Anyway, I had to throw the sweater on, almost noon. Got a little breeze out here. All good. Bear went down there. He went down to that tree there. That's where people been catching at. That tree right there, kind of in the middle. If you know Lake Gregory, you probably know what tree I'm talking about. Anyway, every time he runs down to a space, he usually ends up catching a fish. So we're going to hope that's what happens today. Good times. Alright you guys, this is the, the tree that we're talking about. You see they just made some um, cement foundation here. It used to be all dirt. So bears on one side there. And then we got two poles over here. But the young kid, he was cleaning up over here. So we got some power bait out over here. And you see there's a little space that um, you can stand on right outside of the gate. We out here. You can rent boats. They on a boat over there. Good times. Lake Gregory. All right, here we go, Bear. Tell them about this spot right here. 
Uh, we've been over here before. I think we caught some. It was here that we caught something. And then the boy uh, that caught three fish, he was just over here. So I put two or three poles over here. See if I can get some. All right, so we're going to see what happened over here, you guys. Always a good time. Fit fishing, baby. So we fit fishing some push-ups. <sighs> Twenty one time for your mind. All right, you guys, this is what I'm jigging with right now. That power worm with the jig head. So we're gonna come over here where Bear is. And we're gonna see if we can do some jigging over here. For the love of money. See if we can jig a little bit over here. Get jiggy with it with Bear. Hey, Bear. Came over here to get jiggy with it, man. Sweet. Hold that for me. Water's a little deeper over here, you guys. Not that many weeds either. Did you see any fish over here, Bear? No, nah, not yet. Getting jiggy with it. Alright you guys, you see Bear, he done crawled under the gate, he getting it in on the sand dune. Let's see if he could pull something off over there. That was a good one, man. Thanks. Good times. We out here. Man, we don't know what's going on today. Bear's over there getting it in. I'm coming back over here. We're gonna have to figure this out. Fit fishing, Lake Gregory, good times. While you at it, hit that like button, hit subscribe. Check out our merchandise below. We got some nice fitness and fishing t-shirts. You can be in the gym with it or you can be on the lake with it. The choice is yours. And while you're at it, join the 100 Day Journal Challenge, 100dayjournalchallenge.com. We're advocating positive coping strategies such as journaling. Get that off your mind. Put it on some paper. Our Veil to Fit Realtor, good times, bear, always a good time. Lake Gregory today, San Bernardino Mountains. We out here and we're out. Our Veil to Fit Realtor, good times, bear, always a good time. Power bait, jigging, trout season. We out here and we're out. And you already know what it is. It's Fit Fishing, baby. And we out here. Peace, you guys. Our Bill to Fit Realtor back with another Sunday motivation. And today's Sunday motivation comes from a quote from Mike Tyson, the champ, Mike Tyson. 
And Mike Tyson says something that's very dynamic. He says, adversity makes the strong stronger and the weak weaker. Adversity makes the strong stronger and the weak weaker. And um, you might start to think about physical strength, physical strength or physical weakness. But what we're talking about here is mindset. We're talking about mental toughness. Adversity will make a mentally tough person tougher and a mentally weak person weaker. And um, one way that you can increase your mental toughness is by embracing your fate, embracing the hard times, and working through the hard times. Uh, when you set goals and you know there's going to be obstacles and you um, take on those obstacles with um, fervor and zeal and you start to overcome smaller obstacles and smaller obstacles and then you accomplish your goal. So when the big obstacles come, having that self-confidence from overcoming those small obstacles will help your mental toughness. It'll increase that mental toughness so that your resilience and your fortitude is on a maximum level. On the flip side, if you're, if you're mentally weak and you're faced with obstacles, then you're going to get weaker and you're going to see more darkness and it's going to be harder to see the light because you haven't built up that self-confidence. So what you need to do if you're mentally weak is start taking on small challenges and building your self-confidence so that when the, the dark times come, you can uh, have that resilience to get through. So set goals recommend the smaller goals, understand that there will be obstacles that you need to overcome, embrace those obstacles, and when you overcome those obstacles, you'll have more self-confidence, and as you have more self-confidence, you'll, you'll be mentally tougher and stronger, and when the adversity comes, you'll be a champion. I am the Arvell, the Fit Realtor, that's today's Sunday Motivation. Peace.